Hello, I am the co-founder of Zeldarian Ocarinist. I am proud to present the review of my Bravura Ocarina Alto C in Sky Blue. You can find this ocarina on songbirdocarina.com. It is price range over $25, which is very cheap for an ocarina about this size. It's very good quality. It's 12 holes with an alto C with the range of A4 to B or pardon me A4 to FB affordable interior level instrument with a songbook tutorial concluded unbreakable plastic that is what I really like about this ocarina is that it has unbreakable plastic which means you can shout you can that yeah, pardon me you can throw it on the ground and it won't crack that is a really good quality for ocarinas because I've noticed some of the ocarinas look very delicate like the dragon tooth ocarina I actually had a friend say that uh, he broke his dragon tooth ocarina which is a real shame because those are very expensive as I've noticed anyways um, the bravura ocarina alto C in sky blue is very good quality especially for beginners if you are a beginner ocarinist or plan to buy your first ocarina and play it I would suggest this it doesn't look very professional like any of the others, but it does provide a professional sound. And as you've heard from my sample of concerning Hobbits at the very beginning of this t of this review, you would hear that it's very good quality. Um, I myself am a beginner and have improved dramatically over the past four months of owning this ocarina. I do hope to keep on improving and posting videos of my improvement on my Zeldarian Ocarina's account. So. As I've said before, if you are planning to buy an ocarina, but you're concerned about prices, I would strongly suggest the Songbird Ocarina, Bavaria Ocarina Alto C in Sky Blue, or whatever color you want. They had green and pink, I believe, were the two ex the other colors that you could buy this in. I actually did not buy this ocarina. A friend actually purchased it for me for Christmas. I was really surprised at this present, yet I was really excited because I loved The Legends of Zelda, and I loved the Ocarina songs that were played in it. And I never imagined myself actually owning this to actually be able to play literal Legends of Zelda songs, though I didn't expect any of the magic, which is a bummer too. So anyways, <clears throat> in a review of this Ocarina, I give this Ocarina a 10 out of 10, because it's a very good Ocarina, and it's very portable. You can take it anywhere you want. And mine did have a string that actually came with it to where you could wrap it around your neck. But however, my string uh, didn't make it. So, uh, Also, suggested songbooks to go with this ocarina would be um, Legends of Zelda, which was a very cheap songbook that also I was able to get from my, or my friend got me from the package. But um, I'm sorry if I stuttered or anything in this video. I'm very nervous at the time. I never really done full reviews. So there will be some bloopers, actually, at the end of this video of my past mistakes. But anyways, as I've said, this is my very first owned ocarina. I am going to play another song for you before I end this review. And also there will be some news afterwards, so please stay tuned. Okay, the song I'm going to try to perform to you is going to be Epona's song. It's going to be very short, but you're going to hear the Epona medley as heard from Legends of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Okay, so that was a short little glimpse. glimpse at the sound of the uh, Bulvaria Blue Ocarina from Songbird Ocarina. Thank you very much for tuning in into this video. And the big announcement is, here in a couple of days, I hope, or at least a week, latest, latest is the week, I will be getting a Lord of the Rings-inspired Elf Ocarina from SLT Ocarina. I will be definitely doing a review on that one. So without further ado, this is Zeldarian Ocarina signing off for the day. Goodbye, everybody. And I hope you all have a good day and purchase this ocarina from Songbird. It's a very good ocarina. 
and I strongly suggest it for everybody and beginners and also Zelda fans. So, bye bye.